fire's burning. Fix that shed. Birds are whistling. The sun's not quite out, right? I'm ask a bit of advice on these taties. I hadn't chipped these taties because they had rooted in the bag. So I decided to chuck them in. And all this wilting's been happening with them lately. And I've had a couple of them die on us. And what's happened is the taty itself has rotted. Yeah, let's see if I can. He has a pretty good sign of it, really. I think it's going to be. Nah, that one seems alright. Although it's wilting, they seem to be rotten down at the stem. And then just like keel an hour. But that one's that's solid, that. So even though it's wilting, it looks okay. That I think's a puppy that's coming through. I might dig that out and replant it. Um, but basically. I've lost a few taties out of there, that's rotted, and I'm a bit frightened in case it's coming into these ones, like, as you can see, them ones here, all okay, apart from, it's possibly that one yesterday, but it seems to have pulled around, um, but I've definitely lost two or three, potatoes, yeah, that one there looks a bit poor, I don't know whether that's just been wind damage or rain damage because we had some really bad rain and wind and these took the canny beating. That one there I think is definitely rotten. Let's see down at that and then we are focusing, down here it seems to go black and mushy and then just die on you. I don't know, they might pull around, but it's a bit disappointing right, when you've got nice rows and then you get a couple of them letting you down. This one was pretty bad. Let's see, yeah, that's dead weak and yeah, look at that. It's almost ready to go, like. Flowers are kicking in, so we'll see what happens. Right, I'll take you through. A few carrots. I don't want to keep big beds full of carrots. I only need a few. Onions, white onions. Beetroot. It's looking a bit scabby lately. Um, oh, the onions are going into flour. Anyone know what I do there? I've just noticed that. They're red onions. I put spring onions in there because I, I had a um, radish in but pulled them out because they were just, well, they were getting attacked by slugs, to be honest with you, underneath, so I wasn't going to waste my time. A few corn plants. I should have stuck more in, but I only had three. They're pulling round now and kicking in. Some new raspberries. A few flowers I've just put in. Marigolds, French marigolds, and, um, geraniums, and something else. A few different things in there. Here's my strawberry planter that I built this year. Strawberries are kicking in. My first red one there. Stuck a few marigolds in the corners to try and uh, brighten it up a bit. Good friend of mine died not long ago, and that's a plant that I got from his house. As I was saying, that's, I'm not sure what it is. Blackberry. We'll see for flowers. I might repot it. I think it's struggling in that pot now. Tomatoes. Not quite sure with tomatoes. As I say, I'm pretty new to gardening. Uh, well, I haven't said, but I am. I'm pretty new to gardening. So, I've just learned what suckers are and what aren't suckers, and I've 
trimmed it all down with it because I don't want the bottom all. I want to be able to see the soil and maintain them and I let them come up up a height. Um, but I then seem to be doing all right. Three, four, it's a big bee up there. Get away from that. Um, pepper plant. I've got two of the same, two two greens and a yellow. I'm giving a green to a friend. Because I only want one of each. And these is me chilies that I've just gotten off the same friend. But one of each here. Hot banana. Californian wonder. And uh, jalapenos. Uh, I've got some cucumbers to stick in here and that's all I want. A couple of cucumbers, one of each of the chilies, one of each of the peppers, one of each of the tomatoes. Don't want loads of the same stuff. It's getting wet. Getting wet off the hose. It's got a hole in it. Right, well. These, I have a tilt of a whole magic carpets. I grow them every year, right, in the garden and that, and I love the colours of them. Look at them. They open and close every day, and you get all different colours. And the plant itself dead fleshy and. Oh, sorry, I got my finger out of it. Dead fleshy and weird. Lovely plants, love them. Every year I grow them. I got them from the boot sale. Yeah, a few more things I got off my friend who died. I think this is a pear tree. I think that's lavender. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, a couple of flowers I've just put in the other day. There's my um, lemon mint plant. I come back. I had a pot in there plant pot for years and it didn't 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 take well it was a hanging basket probably kept drying out and wasn't enough nutrient in it a few bulbs that's come up I think that might be time I got off a friend mint very cold a few weeds out of that there and he has me apple tree planted this three year ago or something Never really grew the tree, but it doesn't half fruit. Well, I got a few apples last year, but I've got a load this year. Next door, and keep off them. This is my son's my little son, he's only six keen. This is his school project potato plant and a sunflower. Put in a nice big off them, hopefully we'll do well with that. I'm sure you'll have the biggest in these class. <laughs> Take you through this stuff, I'll put away.